Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome back to the channel. Today I am all pumped up because it's almost springtime. Well, sort of, it's like middle of February, but to me, it's almost springtime. You're starting to see those warmer days. There, there's hope, light at the end of the tunnel from this winter bullshit. But today specifically, I am super jacked up because I'm gonna show you my new kayak. 2023 brings a couple of changes for me, um, a couple of firsts, and some stuff that I'm really excited about, um, not only to take part in, but to bring you guys as I go through it with the channel. So the biggest change for me in 2023 is I am fishing bass tournaments. I am not a bass fisherman. And just because I'm fishing tournaments doesn't make me a bass fisherman. I don't care what my buddy says. I'm not a bass fisherman, but I'm a fish for some bass. <laughs> fish for some bass. So this year I joined Camo, which is the Kayak Anglers of Missouri. And I'm gonna be traveling all over the place um, with my new kayak, which is the second big thing this year. A lot more new spots, a lot more time on the road, a lot more driving around, a lot of new places. It's just gonna be a great year. Um, if all goes to plan, my primary focus this year is bass and walleye. So I'm, I'm super jacked up, but I'm really jacked up because I'm doing it in a new kayak. This is the kayak. It, I don't care who you are, if you're a kayak fisherman, if, or you know a kayak fisherman, and they tell you that the kayak to have is anything other than the Pro Angler 14 360 by Hobie, they are lying to you. This is the kayak. This is my kayak and I'm jacked up. So let's show it to you, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a full walkthrough like what I did with my Outback and I'm gonna just kind of show you everything that I did, the way that I laid it out that I think is gonna work for me and I'll talk a little bit about what I expect some of the changes and upgrades and additions to be in the future. So I'm gonna start at the front and we're just gonna go right on around this thing and talk about it while we go. So without further ado, let's meet my 2022 Hobie Pro Angler 14 360. All right, y'all. We did the tra redid the trailer too, but we'll talk about that in a different video. This video, it's all about the Pro Angler. So actually, before we even get started, this is the one that I went with. I was actually really focused on the blue camo. Um, and quite honestly, I had never seen the green camo in person. And it wasn't even a consideration for me. But I got an incredible deal on it. And this was the only color I could get in that deal. So I just said, well, I'm gonna go for it. And I actually really like it. My buddy James says that it looks like a banana that's like old and rotten and ready for banana bread. But to me, she's sexy. So let's start in the front hatch, all right? So you can use the front hatch for a lot of stuff. I'm keeping it simple. I got my catch board in here for my tournaments. I have a dry bag that I'm gonna put my rain gear in. I got some new rain gear coming in the next day or two. And I'll probably toss like a bottle of water in here. Maybe a change of clothes, I don't know. But it's gonna be pretty lightweight and simple. So let's lift this thing out. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the power. Because the majority of the power is up in the front. So, for the power in this bad boy, I went with the Tom Percy Tim Percy, Tom? I think it's Tim Percy. Tim, I, 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 I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's Tim Percy. We're gonna go with that. The Tim Percy plate, mounting plate for the electronics. Now you can get this from different companies. I do believe Tim's is the original. Um, one Objective makes one, Burley Pro makes one. I went with this one because it's pressure fit in there. There's no clamp on the back of here. There's no rope to attach. It just, once it's in there, it's in there. And you can bend it and pull it back out if you want to. So that's the plate for the mounting because I wanted a clean install. I went with the FPV Power Wireless Distribution Hub. Now, what that means is I can connect all my devices into here. You've got A, B, C, and D 
Those ones are controlled by a wireless remote. I'll show you in just a little bit here. One and two are always supplied power. So on number one, I've got my Lowrance graph. And on number two, I've got this battery meter here. The battery meter is Bluetooth. So I can look at it by opening the hatch, but right from the seat of my kayak, I can just open the app on the iPhone and I can see what's going on with the battery. So it's a real clean install. All the plugs are waterproof. It's all just real nice, labeled it. It's just a really clean way to distribute all your power. On the back side of this is the FPV power pigtails that run to each device. And I'm gonna show you those as I go. The first thing we'll come to right here, this is my Pro Yacker Hobie Mirage Drive leash. The other end of the leash is on the drive. The 180 drive had a lot more convenient places to hook this thing to, but for now, I've just hooked it here. And it's just got a clip on here and the stretchy cord. It was the first thing I installed on my Outback. It was the first thing I installed on my Pro Angler. Those drives are very expensive and I don't want to capsize and lose it. I don't want to have it fall off on a boat ramp, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For $19.95, you really can't beat the insurance of tethering it to the boat. The next thing I added is the Hobie, I'm gonna call it a gear bucket. I don't know what Hobie actually calls it. There are two different sizes, which I didn't realize. Mine is the gigantic one. I'd probably go a little smaller if I was gonna do it again. It's got a nice spot for your pliers, a lot like what the Outback had. I put a tether on there. Bungees to keep the lid secure. I've just got a gator with my sunglasses rolled up. I've got an air horn, some bug spray, a knife, a rag, some fish grips that I'll probably never use. But just some miscellaneous odds and ends. Stuff that I used to keep in my center hatch that now I won't have to. Comes with the cup holder, obviously. So as I'm working my way back, I'm going to stop and talk about the center console because this ties into power. So the PA comes with a gear tray system for Plano boxes and two Plano boxes. I wasn't interested in that. That's not how I'm going to use it. So I have a Burley Pro bucket. I went with the shallow bucket um, for no real reason other than it was slightly cheaper and I didn't really need the deep one, or at least I don't think I do. I have my remote for my wireless FPV system just clipped right here. My phone tether is in here. And then I installed a 12 volt USB. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? There we go. I put a cigarette lighter USB charger in there. It's got a standard USB and two USB C's. I will use that for GoPros, cell phone, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, while I'm out on the water. It is tied right into the wireless FPV system. It's not direct wired. I just press the A button and it's good to go. It's only on when I want it. I carried over what I call the junk drawer from the Outback. This is a little $19 if it was even that much toolbox from Lowe's. And I tell you what, uh, <clears throat> it's a good time to mention, I will put links to all of this stuff down below. Some of it'll be affiliate links, some of it won't, but I will link everything that I show you down below. So what I like about this toolbox is it has the individual compartments. Um, I'm using this for all my stuff like crankbaits, top water, uh, stuff like that. I've got a box here that has some hooks in it. I've got some crappie lures under there. Um, I've got my trailers here. I've got a Guggen uh, bait sitting there. And I got the Money Badger. I am super excited to try this thing out this year. But this is where I'm keeping all my cranks and stuff. I tied a little paracord on there just so it couldn't go any further forward than I wanted it to. It tucks right back up under the seat. All right, guys, next thing I'm going to show you. I have my Rail Blazer camera uh, boomstick there, carried over from the Outback. I may switch over to a Ram one. I'm really not sure. And I'm not 100% satisfied with this one, but it does get the job done. Um, I've got an extended battery here for the GoPro or whatever is mounted to there at the time. 
The extended battery is connected to the Boonadox tracks um, with a, a track piece that I uh, used. It was an extra piece from who knows what and a GoPro mount and turned it into a track mount. Same with the Railblaze, it goes right into the track. Now since I mentioned it, let's talk about the Boonadox landing gear. I installed it. I had it on the Outback. I got it on the PA. And I'm going to do a separate video, possibly even today, a long-term review of the Boonadox. Clearly I like it because I installed it. So, you got the Boonadox landing gear on there. And then this year I finally did it. I finally spent the money and I bought a black pack. I bought the 16 by 16 model and fellas, ladies, I could not love this thing more. My only critique of the black pack is these tether hooks. They interfere with the lid when they're up in their expected position. I've just been hooking them right there. Now I say I've been doing it as if it's been going on, but this kayak hasn't even seen the water yet. This is just how I'm doing it here in the garage. Inside my black pack, I've got my first aid kit. I got some Bass Mafia bags with plastics in them. I've got my Goon Squad bag with my creature baits in it. And then down the bottom there, I've got some paracord. That's all I've got in there for the moment. I'm trying to keep it lightweight. I've got my net over on that side. Because I came around the back side, I kind of skipped the front side here. So let's start up here real quick before we get to the end there. I put a paddle holder. This isn't a, um, it's not yak attack or it's not a double header. It's some knockoff thing that uh, a company sent me. I couldn't even tell you what company it is, um, but it works decent enough for what I want. And that's simply my uh, net when I'm out fishing. I'm gonna put my net handle in there and just let it lay across the bow so it's quick access um, if I need to net something instead of boat flipping it. That's all that's there for. And then I got my graph. The wires come out of the Hobie through hull kit and I just put a simple plastic cover over top up to my Lowrance. I decided to go with the Lowrance Hook 7 triple shot. The shield that's on here is made by Burley Pro. And the mounting system is for the H-Rail. This is a Hobie one and a half inch H-Rail um, Ram connector. Lost my train of thought. It's got an inch and a half ball on there. And then this is a Ram mount made for Lowrance fish finders. It just bolts to that top plate on there. And that'll let me move it anywhere down the rail I want, change the angle of it. Originally I had it mounted here with a yak attack mount and I just I knew I wasn't gonna like it Put the penguin outdoors vinyl decal on the side there and Then in the back here. Oh forgot the I added the Hobie Vantage seat bag for my snacks so Kind of wrap this thing up here in the back hatch here I've got the Burley Pro FPV battery mount that's my FPV battery right there. And then it has a 15 foot FPV extension cable that runs through the hull up to the front where the distribution system is. So this never actually has to come out of here. And it's, uh, it's a dual battery plate. I bought the dual battery plate because I know darn well I'm gonna add a second battery and I'll be able to just bolt it right in there. And then this is the 15 foot wire right here that runs back to that battery. And you can just plug the charger right into there and it just connects right there when you're ready to rock and you got all your power You know When I was planning this video in my head It seemed like it would need to be a lot longer, but I just kind of cruised through it there didn't I? But there she is my 2022 Hobie Pro Angler 14 360 well guys there she is. I could not be more excited about this kayak. Uh, I just, it's the kayak. It's the kayak. And I am stoked to say the least. So I want to take a second and just tell you guys, you know, I really appreciate all of you who watch the channel, my subscribers. I'm a small channel. I'm at, I don't know, 630 ish 
subscribers right now as I shoot this video today. Um, but for the low subscriber count, I do fairly well on video views, traffic, feedback, um, more traffic to my channel than my subscribers reflect or that I ever expected. And the reason I say that and I bring it up is just to say thank you. Even if you're not a subscriber, I wish that you would be. I'm just happy you're watching my stuff and that I'm providing content to you that uh, you find interesting and enjoyable. Because the reality is, without each and every one of you uh, who watches my videos, this ain't possible. It's kind of impressive and shocking and humbling how much of a difference a YouTube channel can make in your life, even when it's small. I can't imagine what this channel would do for my life if I was, you know, thousands of subscribers or hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Like, if I could do this full time, I can't think of a better way to live my life. So hopefully I keep making content that everyone finds enjoyable and more and more enjoyable because I really would like to see the channel grow and I really like to take this on a lot of adventures and take you guys along with me. So I really just appreciate you watching my channel. I know the videos slow down over the winter and every year I say I'm going to do better with that and then that cold weather and gloom and doom hits and I'm just like, ugh, wait for the spring. <laughs> so I do apologize the videos dropped over the winter, but spring is coming and I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to film my practice for tournaments. I'm going to film the tournaments. I'm going to film the, film the travel. I'm going to film so much more this year and it's just, I'm really excited about a great year and I can't wait to take you guys along with me and I'm going to stop rambling on. So I'm going to put the links to all the stuff down below. If you have any questions about the setup, just drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any thoughts or input on it, I'm always open to that too. And uh, I look forward to showing you guys a lot of adventures in my PA 14 360. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Wiki wiki.